Hi, my name is Roy, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make one of these particle blasts, like the one you saw in the video. Um, and basically, it's just a kick, followed by a little plane at the area of the kick that shoots out like a hundred of these little triangle meshes, little pyramid shapes, and they disappear into nothingness. That's the whole effect. So, we're going to start. And this is layer two, and this is where I keep all the um, particles, basically. Um, and then this is what they look like. So you'll see this one is transparent with the blue emission. This one's purple, and this one doesn't have any light lighting on it, so it comes out dark. Um, to make one of these, you just make a cube, press tab to enter edit mode, Crank it down, press G and Y to, uh, to move that plane, uh, and shrink that plane, and that's basically it. Then you can make tiny adjustments to make it uh, seem more natural and less geometric, but I'm too lazy for that. So, do the kick there, kick, there's a little punch there. Now you'll notice with this punch, the, the particles don't disappear. I mean, they, they blink out of existence instead of shrinking. That's super awkward. So we're gonna, we're gonna make a new particle system that makes them shrink, like the first kick. You'll see, like any particle system, it's just shooting them out frame by frame. The actual kick takes place at roughly frame 248, so that's where we're going to put it. Sorry, my nose is a bit stuffy. Um, we're going to set the number of particles to 100, because that's what we need, usually. And you'll notice the particles are shooting out in this direction, to the left. We want them to shoot out to the right. So this normal and uh, normal will be negative 4. What normal means is that it will basically shoot out of the center of the plane and kind of uh, perpendicular to it. There's some geometry for you. Let's take a look now. Well, you can kind of see the particles right there. But of course, we want them to look like triangles because. Well, I don't know why. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. Take this, box select, control G to make all three of these into a group. And then the particle system will randomly choose uh, which ones to emit. So it'll, if it's shooting out 100 of these particles, it'll shoot roughly 33 of each. I'm gonna call this one Particle Blast 4 because um, this took a lot of takes. So now we select the group Particle Blast, there it is, Particle Blast 4. And you'll see they're super small for some reason. So we're gonna scale that up to 0.5. And then you'll see, well, they aren't rotated quite right. Hmm, that's a problem. Let's just check the rotation button. And we can leave it at velocity as the initial rotation initial orientation. Um sometimes I like to put random on the phase, which is just like if this is the, the little pyramid rod thing, then it's like rotating it like that. Um, is that it? Oh, we want to add some randomness to the velocity. So instead of just one straight line of 100 particles, right? We're going to bake it up, bake it. I think it needs to shoot more outward. So we're going to do that. Set that to two, bake it again. Maybe the particles need to be a bit smaller, but then I think we're good. Um, so 0.4. Okay, maybe 0.5, and then the random size uh, will always shrink it instead of making it larger. So 0.5 random size. Mm, maybe just, maybe just, there we go. 
I make all these little micro adjustments. It's it's weird. So for textures, we're gonna add a texture, and this is for how do I put this? Um, the texture will allow us to use the particles. Um, how long the particle has been in the system, apply a texture to it and make that change a property of it. So, for example, you can change the color based on if it was just born or just. Um, so you, you can make it so that you can make a flame effect where over time the particles will turn from red to I mean from yellow to red, or a smoke effect where they become less opaque over time. You can do a lot of things. In our case, we're going to be adjusting the size. Um, coordinates, make sure to pick strand particle because this is a particle, of course. Got to be very careful with that because otherwise it's just not going to work. Uh, whoops, blend. What I'm doing here is it's going from black to white to black again. What that means is it starts out infinitely small. Then it goes to, to the size we want, and then it goes back to infinitely small, thus making it appear as if it shrunk. Maybe have them be small for a bit longer. I think that looks just fine. Um, there's a lot of things you could do to really adjust that. Um, for example, you can add some like drag and dampening, which will basically make the particles go like, or like, and kind of slow to a stop. As, it's almost like um, like if feathers were being kicked into the air and they kind of stop after this huge amount of force is applied to them. Um, so that might be what you're going for. And of course you can make the particles anything, so... Um, yeah, go crazy with it. The more particles you add, the more it's going to look like a, like a sort of indistinct cloud of nothingness. Um, okay, sorry for that ramble, but yeah, we're done here. Uh, this is what it looks like. You know? Um, yeah, that's it. I'm probably going to make like some number of tutorials after this, but um, I stopped learning Blender like two years ago, so eventually I'm going to run out of stuff to teach. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and that's it for me. Um, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment if you're having trouble. I read all my comments, and I would love to help you. Um, yeah, and I hope you make something really cool today. That's it for me, signing off.